old time country music. Good. And uh, I've always loved it. It's the only kind of music I grew up with. My dad had it. I think he had about 3,000 records in his basement. And there are a few younger people here. I should explain records. <laughs> <laughs> Those big black CDs. Black. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's amazing how, how you know, the, the cross between, uh, actually somehow, somehow old time country music gets left out of the roots music conversation a lot. Not around Craig and, and his people, but, but a lot of people don't lump that old music in. And I think you should, it's critical, especially because it crossed so many racial barriers. You know, everybody listened on Saturday night to the Grand Old Opry, didn't matter where you were from. And so a lot of people got exposed to that old time music. And uh, I just love it. But you know, growing up, as a kid in the 70s, as I did, and going to a you know big suburban Detroit high school, and people are like, "What are you into? You like Kiss? Did you get the new Kiss album?" It's like, "I, I like Conway, uh, Conway Twitty." <laughs> <laughs> you can get beat up. <laughs> and I wish I ran into my friends down in Louisville, Kentucky, the Juggernaut Jug Band, and they showed me this. And I wish I would have known this back in uh, back in high school. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton, I must have played them all. But I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. He works that deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. I could go on, but I. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't that? And just, I don't think you started because this is a freaky thing, but did you know that you can literally sing every single Emily Dickinson poem to the tune of the Yellow Rose of Texas? <laughs> you don't have to believe me, but you're going to be at Borders or Barnes & Noble tomorrow going, Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. <laughs> but I digress. This is country music you're talking about. I was never a songwriter until about uh, six years ago. And I, you know, I've been making music my whole life, but playing traditional songs and other people's music, and something just awakened. I don't know what it was, but I think it was the love of this old-time country music, because that's what started opening the floodgates. And this was one of the very first songs I wrote. And this is one, uh, somebody had sent me a list of the 100 greatest country songs ever written. And I saw that poster for about the millionth time that said everything I ever needed to learn, I learned when I was in kindergarten. Remember that Robert yeah. Fulham thing? And I thought, let's put those two things together and see what happens. So, uh, and there's some great country song titles. I mean, Conway and Loretta have a song called, You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> so I took some of those song titles and I came up with this little song called, The Jukebox Taught Me Everything I Know. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. Learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool I stood inside the old red dog where the lonely people go The jukebox taught me everything I know I learned that easy loving wasn't hard to find and True love when it comes your way is always on your mind. I learned that it's the cheating songs that make an honest man alive. And you'll be walking after midnight through a burning ring of fire. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. I learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool. Stood inside the old red dog where the lonely people go. The jukebox taught me everything I know. Johnny Cash, she taught me not to take my guns to town. And if I sit here long enough, you pick me up on your way down. I learned that it's the cheating hearts that give themselves away and a big bouquet of roses might just win her back one day well I never went to college 
or attended private school. I learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool. I stood inside the old red dog where the lonely people go. The jukebox taught me everything I know. Well, I never went to college or attended private school. I learned all my life's lessons from a creaky wooden stool. The teachers were the masters of the rhythm and of rhyme. And I paid my tuition one quarter at a time. Like you used to do. I come by the little bit of My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? I ain't had no love in like a hug. Kissing in a long, long while. I don't get weak, no closer and further to mine. Why don't you spark me like you used to do? Say sweet nothings like you used to do. I have the same old trouble that you've always been through. Why don't you love me like you used to do? What I love about these old country songs is they're about a minute and a half long. <laughs> like they get in, they say what they have to say, and they get the hell out. <laughs> Some uh, maybe a little lesson in there for us. I'm not sure. Well, why don't you be just like you used to be? How come you find so many faults with me? Somebody's changed so they'll give you a clue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? I ain't had no love hug, kissing in a long, long while. I don't get near or further closer than a country mine. Why don't you say the things you used to say? What made you treat me like a piece of clay? My hair's still curly and my eyes are still blue. Why don't you love me like you used to do? Why don't you love me like you used to do? more songs to play. I, you're in for a treat. I, I have not heard the Good Lovelies, but I heard them during sound check, and you are... Oh, it's going to be nice. This is going to be nice. 